the research is clear, why do we spend the majority of our time coordinating and cooperating? I mean, I think that's the question, isn't it? You know, how many times do you, could you go back into your school and say, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to implement professional learning communities. We know collaboration is a very important thing, right? So go back into your rooms from 9 o'clock to 9.30. We're going to have this collaborative time. And what's taking place? Everybody is what? Coordinating and cooperating. But what aren't they doing? They aren't collaborating. So should we once again expect schools to improve if we're coordinating and cooperating? No, probably not. So what does it take to create the collaborative culture? That's what I want to lay out for you. So what I want to do is I want to share with you, okay, how can we begin to build the collaborative culture within the schools? So I think before you can have anything over here in stuff one take place, we have to build these team protocols. I'll go through each one, then we'll train them. I think one, every team has to have a set of team norms. Every team has to have a method of consensus of how we reach consensus within that team. Every team needs to have a team vision. Every team should have an agenda with a signed timekeeper and a note taker to follow the minutes that are taking place within that agenda. We also have the critical questions for teams on that agenda. What do, you want, what do we want students to learn? How do we know they're learning it? Those four questions should be on the agenda and always talked about within the meeting. Every team should have a SMART goal. Every team should have a method of interventions. And then every team is about product orientation or producing products. So let's talk about each one.